Hi, I'm Shauna Sue, and it's time for 10 Minute Technique Tuesday. So today on 10 Minute Technique Tuesday, I want to talk about clouds. Uh, clouds are something, they're a lot of fun to paint, but we have to get away from that idea of what clouds are from grade school, maybe kindergarten, first grade. When we're kids and we paint clouds or we draw clouds, we think of them as very happy, big, puffy um, poof balls. Clouds are that, but when we think about clouds that way, we tend to draw them or paint them that way. So I'm gonna talk about uh, some things that I see people do when it comes to clouds and ways that we can help your clouds look a little more realistic. Now, as with any time we paint, whenever we paint, the more time we spend, the more realism we can get into it. Um, we're not going for that here, but I wanna help you up your game just a little bit to get away from that grade school, uh, fat poofy cloud mentality and get it into a little more realistic. So with clouds, the brush you use is pretty important. I like to use a brush. Um, I have three different examples in my hands. Let me talk about them in the order that I would use them. First is this brush. He's round, right? And he's kind of splayed out. He's still kind of, he may not look new, but he's still kind of new. Um, when I paint clouds with him, he's gonna give a lot. Um, he's, he's okay, he's a good one. Not as good as this guy. This guy, he's round, he's kind of a stomper brush, and he's round, but his bristles, even though he looks newer, his bristles are a little more, uh, they're stiff, they're very bristly, they're gonna help me a lot with how I need to paint my clouds. Number three, however, which is absolutely my favorite, he's a brush that has been around the studio quite some time. He's, um, he used to be a flat filbert, which means he's very skinny this way, but he's um, the top of him is curved, even though he's skinny, but you can see he's not so skinny anymore. He's kind of splayed out. There is dried caked paint about halfway up those bristles, so only the ends of his bristles move. It makes his bristles really short. So when I start painting clouds with him, and I'm gonna do a lot of this, there's very little bit of bristle that'll move. People ask me why I don't throw away old brushes. It's because every brush has a purpose. And this guy, his purpose is clouds. His purpose is flowers too sometimes because he's very stompy. But his purpose today is gonna be clouds and I'll show you what I mean. So without further ado, clouds, let's go. So to talk about some really basic clouds, I have our painting from last week where we talked about water and everything with water is side to side, but I left the skies pretty plain so we could talk about cloud technique. You have three things you have to remember when it comes to clouds. You have to think about what brush you're going to use, which I have this brush, um, my old filbert brush that's kind of dry and caked, uh, caked up with old paint. He's gonna be perfect for clouds. You also have to remember that the top of clouds are rounded, the bottom of clouds are flat, not always, but for this example, they are. And the third thing is shading. The tops of clouds are usually really bright, bright white. The bottom side of clouds have a little bit of shading in them. So with that, now that we know that, I'm gonna take my filbert brush, my old dried out filbert, with a little bit of white paint. And I'm loading that. I'm not using a ton of paint but I'm making sure I get it in there and I get it spread around and I'm gonna do a cloud here. So I'm starting with that bright white paint and I'm kind of scrubbing, tapping. It's kind of a scribbly, scrubbly, getting nice bright white on the very top of that cloud. And this, maybe that's what this cloud looks like. Maybe, oh, maybe he goes back up, oh, back up there, back down and he's kind of flat across the bottom. I feel okay with that cloud shape. 
The very next thing I want to do, I have some blue, and it's the blue that was used in the sky. I could add a little bit of that to start to get shading on the bottom. So I'm going to add the tiniest bit. And when I say tiny, 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 tiny bit. Oh, that's way too much. I have just the littlest bit of paint on my brush. I've got the white on there and I'm adding that little bit of blue. And I'm going to come in and shade. I'm kind of doing the same thing all over again, but lower. I'm leaving that bright crest of white and then I'm adding a little bit of this shaded color underneath that. I'm kind of, I can stomp, I can, I like to call it scrumble. I can scribble, scrumble. I'm gonna do that one more time with a little bit of blue. I'm adding tiny bits, getting a little bit darker each time. That looks pretty good. Now another, I'm gonna rinse my brush out, another kind of a cloud. You can do the same thing. I've cleaned that brush out. I'm gonna go back to straight white. I wanna do another cloud here. Again, nice bright white on the top. Nice and bright white. Those clouds kind of reach up toward the sky. If this cloud were dry, I could actually overlap these, but he's not dry yet. So I'm going to stay away from him. There's that guy. Nice bright white paint along the top edge of my cloud. Okay. And then instead of blue this time, what if you add, I have white on my brush, what if you add the tiniest bit of black? So you're getting a little bit of a gray. Oh, that kind of, he's starting to look a little rain cloudish there. What if I added a little more? I have black that I could add. I also have a little bit of brown I could add. Looking for that rain cloudish color. Right there, oh, right along the bottom. So this is very, very basic, very basic cloud to help it look a little, a little less cartoony, a little more realistic when it comes to clouds. So now as we paint these clouds, we could let that dry. What would that look like once that's dry if I put another cloud kind of here in front? Then I'm starting to get layers and I'm getting depth. So that's something fun that you could do. I think I like the, I like the blue at the bottom. I don't know, there's something to be said for the little bit of brown and gray brown and black in there but fun fun things you can do with clouds that's a technique you can just practice over and over and over again i want to show you another technique this is something we see uh, bob do our friend bob with a fan brush so i want to show you what bob might do now this is a little more of a challenge because uh, we're not using oil paint. When Bob paints, he paints in oil, and oil stays wet for weeks, sometimes months. Acrylic does not. It dries pretty quickly. But I'm going to show you what I can here. So I have my fan brush, and I'm loading it up with paint, and then I'm going to use just the corner of it. Look at that. I'm just kind of circling, circle scribble. I'm keeping in mind as I do this, we're staying away from those kindergarten clouds, remember. The thing that makes these kindergarten clouds is they're round all the way around. You have to stay flat on the bottom. And you want to do, we want to do a little bit of shading on the bottom. Oh, this guy, he's getting kind of out of control up there, isn't he? Oh, fun, fun, there he goes. Now, just like these clouds with that fan, I wanna add, I think I decided I like the blue better, so I'm gonna add the tiny, 
tiniest bit of blue on that corner. Oh, maybe a little more blue, tiny bit, and start to shade a little right along the bottom. Maybe a little more blue. Just using the corner. Oh, that's nice. There we go. Nice and bright on the top. A little shaded on the bottom. Oh, what if on this one, what if we have blue and a little bit of black and a little bit of brown? I don't know. What happens? What happens if we mix all that up in there to get our shading on the bottom? And again, I'm just using the corner. That's fun. I think I want a little more white. I'm using the other corner of my fan brush that's clean. Oh, get some more white up in there. Oh my goodness, we could play with this all day. Oh, that's fun. But the thing to remember as we play, acrylic paint dries really quickly. When you do clouds, flat on the bottom, rounded on the top shaded on the bottom, bright white on the top. So there we go. A quick down and dirty. That's what I know about clouds. Now remember, as you paint clouds, let it dry. Go back, do another layer. Clouds are allowed to touch, they're allowed to overlap, they're constantly moving in the sky, doing fun different things. So don't be afraid to get away from your painting for a little bit, come back, see if you need another cloud. This one, I feel like I need another cloud here in front, so I might continue to play with that. So anyway, keep playing, keep painting, keep experimenting, keep having fun. All right, and until next week on 10-Minute Technique Tuesday, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.